Hello everyone. In this reading, let's ask what you're doing right in this relationship, what you're doing wrong and what you should do. Um, so this is our playing cards, 36 cards. If you'd like to participate in this reading, please think of a person or persons and choose a deck. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one. Deck number one. What you're doing right in this relationship, what you're doing wrong, and what you should do. What you're doing right, I feel that uh, you have a very uh, clear um, focus when it comes to this relationship and you might, um, if there's intimate uh, part to this relationship, then whatever you're doing, you're doing right. I feel that you're, you have decided to act in a certain way uh, in this relationship and, and that is you know, to be a certain person or to act in a certain way or to have a certain approach. For example, here I'm getting a very positive, loving, caring approach and uh, very forgiving, very gentle. And also, you want this relationship, you know, you, um, you want this relationship and you focusing on success in this relationship. So that is what you're doing right. Now, what you doing wrong? Well, it can be an extreme wish to earn more money, an extreme focus on financial success, career, uh, maybe an idealistic uh, imagination of how it should be. For example, uh, you have to have all the furniture, all the cars, you know, everything new, everything good, perfect, expensive, you know. So maybe this much focus and idealism is not good in this relationship. Maybe it, it affects your time. For example, you have to work a lot and you cannot spend time with each other. Maybe that affects the time that you spend with each other. Maybe it affects your nerves, health, whatever. You know, so much focus on status or wealth or career or, or something like that. Like, you want to earn as much as possible, I feel, here. And so let's have a look at what you should do. And as you can see, it's the heart cards. Heart cards is not money. It's not work. It's love. It's love and spend more time together with each other. And... Uh, you know, it's of course uh, intimacy, it's romantic romance, and spending more time with each other. It can be romantic dinners, it can be uh, um, well, romantic evenings, it can be everything romantic, yeah. Also, meet people, uh, meet their relatives, let them meet your relatives, basically, socialize. There has to be some sort of harmony and love and 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 kind of festival celebrations you know that sort of thing and overall you are that person you can do that you know so yeah this is our situation more family time together more lovely time together less work yeah more family and you overall know it, you know, you kind of are on the right path, you know. So, yeah, this is our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two. Reading number two. What you're doing right in this relationship? What you're doing wrong? And what you should do. What you're doing right. 
if you ever separated from each other, it shows reconciliation. Like uh, it can show forgiveness. It can show that after leaving that person, you wanted him back or her. You um, you want to fix things. You want to give it another chance. You want to improve things. So it can show this is what is good. It's your healing attitude, hopeful attitude. Now, what you're doing wrong, we have, again, the first meaning here is money. Again, work, money. Uh, it can be idealism. You want a perfect marriage. You want uh, extreme happiness. You want to spend a lot of money. You want to, you know, go to expensive places, do shopping. Uh, it can also indicate uh, wanting to buy a new expensive thing. It can be a flat, it can be a car, it can be anything expensive that can actually affect your relationship with this person. It can also show a new marriage or a new house, something like that. So, so because of uh, this, well, something, it might be bad that's what you're doing and what you should do okay so here it shows a little bit of work needs to be done it can talk about a time you need to wait and uh, some sort of focus to keep uh, if you want things to succeed um, it can even indicate a travel somewhere in another place or another house you know it can overall talk about work yeah you have to make a goal and work towards that goal in this relationship now what is this exactly is it a land is it something house again some sort of contract So, it can be some sort of conversation with that person, some sort of agreement about something. Okay, so... So in this case, we might have uh, something, might be like a bad goal. For example, when it comes to this relationship, maybe you're viewing it not the way it is. Maybe, um, you know, you need to really find out in life what you want. And maybe you should check your priorities, your desires, what you really want, because I feel that maybe your priorities are not right, maybe that's why this relationship is not working, um, so yeah, something, um, something like that, like, you have to know what you want first, okay? And it's good that you're trying to fix it. If you're trying to fix it, it's good that you're trying to approach this person, connect with this person emotionally. We have that sort of situation here. And uh, and this is our reading number two. Let's move on to our deck number three. Our deck number three is another 36 card deck. Let's ask, what you're doing right in this relationship? What you're doing wrong? What you should do? What you're doing right? Well, we have here lots of um, almost fighting, talking, proving something to someone, 
um, you know, we have like a very fighting spirit, like not giving up in this relationship. If there are arguments, he would not give up. Um, it says you're doing it right. So we can see that you're trying to... Um, either achieve something for example if there are obstacles with this person in order to be with this person you're trying really hard uh, to get to that person to go to that person to keep this relationship fine and so choose your your fighter here you're a fighter and that's how you should be you should not give up yeah when it comes to this relationship so it seems that you're really putting a lot of effort in this and this is a good thing yeah uh, and actually you're doing things, something you're doing, you're spending energy on that, so it's very good. Now, what you're doing wrong? Okay, we're getting here, a, it can be a school, something with children, can be a, a place uh, where you work, maybe. It can point to a situation with a child, a situation... I don't exactly understand why is it banned. You know, maybe it's sensitivity. Maybe you're a very sensitive person. Maybe you tend to uh, become hurt very easily because the, the jack of hearts can show an extremely sensitive person, almost immature, um, you know, who knows, maybe it can show that you flirt with other people as well. Maybe you are flirtatious, maybe your partner sees you as flirtatious, maybe you're flirting uh, online, maybe you're chatting with someone, like many people know you and you have this image and maybe that's not good for this relationship. So, or maybe your child does that, you know, your child does that and, and there's a problem. So... What you should do, well, in this situation, we have, again, uh, like, uh, your wishes, you know, maybe, for some people, it can say, for this relationship to work out, you have to say no to some of your wishes, you have to say no to some of your wishes. Uh, that might be um, an obstacle in the relationship. Sometimes it happens. Let's say if you want to be, I don't know, um, work a certain job or you're never at home, you know. Maybe a partner ha will have troubles with that. So, Or maybe you want to be someone or do something that's not good for, you know, children or family or something like that. This person might see it, stop doing it. So it might be that you want a lot and you're very ambitious, but it says, um, you know, evaluate your wishes like one, once more, you know, abandon some of them maybe. So this was our reading number three, our deck number three. Let's have a look at our deck number four. Our deck number four. And we will ask what you're doing right in this relationship, what you're doing wrong, and what you should do. Okay. Okay, so we have here what you're doing right. So we have the cards that are kind of similar to the cards of suspicion, cards of um, fear, cards of, you know, like feeling maybe the partner's keeping a secret or something or some sort of like inner intuitions happening. So some... Negative feelings basically are shown as if that's your, what you're doing right here. It can show 
uh, that you talk to your partner, whatever your fears you have, you talk to them, you know. It can be simply a very strong stress. It can be a strong fear and a strong stress. It can be related to your partner. It might be not related with your partner. But in any case, in some way, it affects the relationship. It can be fear of something else. It can be depression. It can be things like that. And the intention is very uh, the intensive intensity of that is very strong, almost making you tired, you know. So what you're doing wrong here? You're really you might be worried about money here, what you, uh, some sort of purchases, some sort of money, and it shows that in this case when you think like that, it is not a good idea, you know. It doesn't uh, help the relationship. Um, <clears throat> Now, how to, you know, maybe you're worried about expenses. Maybe you're worried about uh, you have to pay something. Maybe it's related with this, you know. Maybe the thing, if you want to solve this problem, it will cost a lot and you're not telling anything to your partner. It can be something like that. Or it can be, for example, if a partner is abusive and you're afraid to be with them, uh, but you do not don't leave the partner be, or you know don't do anything because you're afraid they will leave you penniless or maybe it's uh, something else like you know so so that sort of situation of what you should do here we have actually uh, cards that are very similar to like writing a letter or you know to or contacting I don't know a person who is a lawyer can be um, can be a um, someone psychologist or something doctor 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 can be something like that uh, that sort of situation but it also can be for example what you should do it can be even talk to a partner for example talk to a partner here Although mostly, mostly I feel something like uh, legal, you know, legal, legal person, legal action, legal, by the way, doctors are a part of that thing. They have the same energy as, you know, lawyers or police people, someone who works with the government, someone who has authority. So, and I feel this is some sort of like advice or counseling or, or help from someone who has authority and who might help you. And so this is our reading number four. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Um, have a wonderful day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.